How to reduce Windows Server CPU usage on your Mac. Before we start, having spent some years coding applications for Mac OS, we've created a tool that everybody can use. The all-round problem fixer for Mac. So here's a tip for you, download Clean My Mac to quickly solve some of the issues mentioned in this article. But to help you do it all by yourself, we've gathered our best ideas and solutions below. One of the most important Mac OS elements is the relationship between the calculations carried out by the CPU and what you see on the screen. That relationship is managed by Windows Server on your Mac a process that is responsible for drawing graphical elements on display. Most of the time, you won't have to think about it or even know it exists, but if it starts using lots of CPU cycles, it may slow down your Mac. Here's how to fix that. What is Windows Server on Mac? Simply, it's the Mac OS process that draws elements on the screen, whether they are application windows, icons, or websites. The more windows you have open at any one time, the more CPU cycles Windows Server needs. Most graphical elements are refreshed regularly, which is why Windows Server needs those CPU cycles. Every time you move a window around, edit an image in Photoshop, or switch to a different tab in Safari, Windows Server needs to redraw your screen. When you consider that windows in Mac OS have lots of effects, such as transparency and drop shadows, it's hardly surprising that drawing and redrawing them on screen consumes resources. However, on most Macs, the number of CPU cycles Windows Server consumes should be so small you don't notice it. Why does it use so many CPU cycles? There are a few things that can cause Windows Server to use so many CPU cycles that you notice it or that it slows down your Mac. These include, misbehaving apps, some applications hogging memory. Multiple displays, having multiple displays can use up computer memory. Cluttered desktop, each icon has to be redrawn every time. Visual effects, older Macs struggle with modern graphics. How to find out if Windows Server is using excessive CPU cycles. Navigate to Applications Utilities and open Activity Monitor. Click the top of the CPU column. Look at the names of the processes in that column. If Windows Server is near the top and takes up more than 60% of CPU resources, you know it's using more CPU cycles than it should. Quit Activity Monitor. Is Windows Server related to MDS underscore stores? No, not directly. While Windows Server controls the drawing of elements on the screen, MDS underscore stores on your Mac MDS stands for Metadata Server is part of Spotlight. If you see MDS underscore stores consuming CPU cycles, it's probably because Spotlight is reindexing your Mac. Tip, if you find that your Mac is struggling and often runs slowly, Clean My Mac X's maintenance module can help. It runs several routines, including freeing up RAM, running maintenance scripts, and repairing disk permissions that can improve your Mac's performance. Its system junk module will also identify and remove junk files that are littering your boot drive and may be hampering performance. Here's how to use it. 1. Download and install Clean My Mac X, then open it. 2. Choose system junk and click scan. 3. When it's finished, click clean to get rid of the files it has found or review details to find out more. How to reduce Windows Server CPU usage. 1. Close windows you don't need. The more windows you have open, the harder Windows Server has to work, especially if you have an older Mac. You should also close browser tabs you are not using, as this will reduce the overall load on your system. And if there are any applications open that you are not using at the moment, quit those, press Option Command Escape to open the Force Quit menu. 2. Turn off visual effects. Features like transparency in Windows also use more CPU cycles. You can't turn off every visual effect, but you can switch off transparency using the accessibility pane in system settings. To turn it off, go to the Apple menu and choose system settings. Click on accessibility and select display. Select the box next to reduce transparency. 3. Reduce the number of desktops in mission control. Closing additional desktops may help lower down Windows Server CPU usage. Press the F3 key to invoke mission control or if you are using a non-Apple keyboard, click on the launchpad icon in the dock and choose mission control. Hover the mouse pointer over any desktops you are not using. Click on the X in the corner of the desktop to close it. 4. Check if apps and Mac OS are up to date. Newer versions of Mac OS and apps can help reduce Windows Server CPU usage. It is due to the fact that they are usually more optimized. Speaking of the Mac OS, having an outdated one can cause other issues as well, so taking time to update it is necessary. Here's how to update Mac OS, from the main Apple menu, go to System Settings General. Click Software Update. Follow the on-screen instructions if an update is available. You can also turn on automatic updates. System Preferences, Software Update. Once you've updated Mac OS, it's time to make sure that apps are up to date as well. There are several ways to do it. For example, for apps downloaded from the App Store, open the App Store app and check the Updates section. From here, click Update next to a particular app or Update All. App Store Updates tab. If you've downloaded apps from a developer's website, open the app and click on its name in the menu bar. From there, choose check for updates. Alternatively, seek for some sort of the automatic updates option in the app settings. You can also visit the developer's website to check for updates. Note that you will have to repeat the process for every app installed on your Mac. Tip, Clean My Mac X can check all the apps on your Mac for new versions and install any available updates. It's much quicker and easier than installing patches individually. 5. Restart your Mac. 
Many of us don't restart our Macs very often, we just close the lid when we're finished working and then open it again when we need to use our computer. However, restarting is important to free up RAM and delete caches and other temporary files. It can also fix problems like certain processes occupying too many CPU cycles. Windows Server is a process that controls the drawing of graphical elements and windows on your Mac's display. Under normal circumstances, it should take up so few system resources you won't notice that it's running. However, occasionally things can go wrong, and it consumes way more CPU cycles or RAM than it should. If that happens on your Mac, follow the steps above to reduce the resources it uses.